Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda. Today I have got a summer whole house decorating marathon for you guys. I've basically put all of my summer decorate with me videos together in one place for you. So if you need to catch up or if you missed one of them, they are all here. I wanted to make sure that you guys didn't miss any fun and cozy summer decorating inspiration. So I will also link down in the description some timestamps for you guys so you can skip ahead to whichever part you are most interested in watching. I wanna thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video. If you are excited for the summer season or for summer decorating, definitely be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am getting started with my summer decorate with me series. I am starting here in my kitchen and dining room. I love starting in here. I have already cleaned everything, wiped down all the surfaces. So today is just going to be decorating. I love to decorate with blue and lemon decor for summer and I'm not doing any patriotic decor this year. I usually like to do that first and then I do my lemon and blue after the 4th of July. But because our baby is due in June, which is when you will be seeing this, I'm actually filming this a couple months ahead of time. I will be busy with the baby this summer so I don't wanna have to redecorate everything. I'll probably do a few things with Americana decor, but for the most part, it's gonna stay blue and lemon for most of the summer. We are going to jump right into it. I'm not gonna share anything new that I've bought because I already did that in a summer decor haul, which I will link down below for you guys. So if you have not seen that yet and you are interested in anything new that I have purchased for this year, definitely be sure to check that out for some more in-depth details. And I will try to link as much as I can for you guys down in the description as well. So we are gonna get started. Before I get started, I lit a candle for some cozy summer vibes. I love a good fruity scent for summer and this sparkling watermelon candle from Bath & Body Works smells absolutely amazing. <music> Lemon and Wildflower Wreath from Michaels is probably my all-time favorite wreath I've ever bought. I just love the contrast of the bright yellow and calming blue, which I love decorating with in general. I've been decorating with blue and yellow since I was a teenager in high school when my room was decorated with those colors. Chicken wire shelf is brand new to my kitchen pretty much. I did decorate it for Easter. I think I mentioned this in a previous video, but I did not show that to you guys because it was the first time I kind of wanted to experiment and see what I wanted to do. I am super excited to decorate this for summer. I did get the one from Hobby Lobby. They do have one on Amazon. When I was looking at which one I wanted, and I've wanted a chicken wire shelf for, goodness, four or five years, and I just couldn't bring myself to pay for it. But I looked at what it cost to get it on Amazon and what it cost to get it at Hobby Lobby when it was on sale, and it's basically the same price. I will link both down below. I do believe the one from Amazon is a little bit shorter in length, but it is a little bit deeper. And 
my understanding is that it doesn't have the different sections. I kind of like the different sections just because I think it makes it easier for me to make sure that I am putting things in that will be seen and I don't have to worry about these. Ultimately, it's up to your space. I do think the one on Amazon has a few different color options as well and the handle is different. So they're very similar and it just really depends on your kitchen or your space that you're gonna put it in and what you want to do with it. So I'm really excited to decorate this. It'll be real fun. Let's get started. I just put this riser inside so that way I don't have to use quite so many lemons to fill up this bowl because I do have a lot that I kind of want to use these for and while I did get some more this year I just want to make sure that I am being you know careful to make sure that I have enough for everything that I want to do. I will try and link as many of the items that I used today down in the description in case you're interested, as long as I can find them available online. Many of the pieces that I used on this chicken wire shelf are from Hobby Lobby or the Target Dollar Spot as they have great smaller pieces that will fit in something like this. But I do have some items from other places. The canister is from Home Goods, and these little mini pie plates are items that my mom passed down to me. They went with some longer burger baskets that she collected when I was young, so they're kind of fun and nostalgic for me. I think they are so cute too and bring a cozy cottage feel to the whole setup. There's also a mini baking pan and pitcher too that match those pie plates that I put in one of the drawers. So 
I wanted to try a bigger arrangement here than I usually do. And I love how these lemon branches look so much that I might actually go and get a few more. They just look really great and really full. The white canisters that I will add here in a minute, I have had on my living room floating shelves, but I did want to move them over here since this arrangement is so tall. I just knew that I was gonna need some bigger and taller items to make it all seem proportional. The blue vase is one that I saved from a floral arrangement I got from my parents. I highly recommend keeping the vases that you like when you do get floral arrangements as you can use them for all sorts of things. The blue of this vase just looks so perfect with my blue and yellow theme. I wanted to keep the coffee bar pretty simple, so on the top shelf I put this lemonade sign, a small greenery arrangement, and a glass vase with some seagrass weaving around it for a slight coastal element. All of the lemon decor elements on these two shelves were ones that I picked up from Michael's last year. They had a really great lemon collection that year as part of their spring decor, so I did get a lot of it. It was really bright and fun and had a slight vintage vibe. I especially love the vintage style containers they sell with a lot of their seasonal collections. You can really find some fun designs.
totally in love with this centerpiece. I love the kind of Mediterranean vibes of it with the porcelain orbs that I thrifted from my mom's house. She got hers from Pier 1 years and years ago, but I have seen similar items from Michaels and Home Goods more recently, contrasted with the bright yellow of the lemons. It did seem to be missing a little something, so I did add in some faux boxwood greenery as well. The wood bowl is one that I picked up from Hobby Lobby's fall collection last year. If I got every word perfectly weighted on a thin piece of That is all for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and that you got lots of summer home decorating inspiration for your kitchen and dining room. I am really pleased with how well it turned out. I love the blue and yellow. It just makes me feel bright and happy and that will be so helpful for when the baby gets here in the summertime. If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to hit that thumbs up and I would love it if you would consider subscribing to the channel. I would love and be so honored to have you guys join my YouTube family here. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye for now. Welcome back to my channel, Maple and Home. Today I am in my living room and we are going to get it decorated for summer. I do want to take a quick second here and to apologize for some of the background noise. We live right next to our neighborhood's little park and like a green space. And so the HOAs, like landscapers, are out today and they are doing quite a bit of loud work right now. Unfortunately, there is really no other time for me to film, so I do apologize if you can hear any of that in the background, but I am so excited to be decorating for summer here in the living room. I decorate with a lot of blues and yellows. I am looking forward to getting this done. It is kind of a cloudy day today. It's a little dark in here. Those blues and yellows will just brighten everything up in this space, so I am very excited. I have already cleaned all the surfaces, wiped everything down, taken down all of the old decor. So we are going to get straight into the decorating. So I really want to go with something a little bit more simple in here. I don't want to overload this space. We are gonna start in this corner and get right to it. So we're starting right off here in the corner with this shelf above my armchair. I wanted to switch some things up here. So I took this antique farmhouse style scale from the top of my set of floating shelves across the room where it's been forever now and just placed it here with two matching mini plants from I believe last year's Hearth and Hand line. I think they have these succulent plants again though, but in a different pot this year. This 
This blanket is one that I purchased from Pottery Barn several years ago. I placed a small lemon pick from Michael's in a bud vase on the lamp next to it for a complimentary pop of yellow. I got this black vase from Hobby Lobby recently this year. I've been looking for a black vase to add some depth to my collection as all the ones that I had were white or beige and I finally found one that I liked. Inside I added some greenery branches that I purchased from Amazon and I will be sure to link anything that I can find available for you down in the description in case you're interested in taking a closer look at them. I wanted to switch out my purple spring prints for some blue and white ones in a chinoiserie style to go with all the blue and yellow that I've got. And it does tie into some of those aspects from the kitchen, which if you haven't seen that decorate with me, I will link it down below. I just found these prints on Etsy. I backed them onto some blue cardstock for a budget-friendly new look in these frames. I'll probably want to eventually replace them with photos printed from Walgreens, but for the size of this frame, they can be a little expensive to get them from there, and this works just fine for now. I do want to take a quick second here to welcome you to my channel if you're new and welcome you back if you're returning. My name is Amanda and I am a stay-at-home mom to soon to be three little boys. In fact, hopefully by the time you see this, our newborn baby boy might have already arrived. I love sharing about all things home decorating and homemaking here on my channel. So if you love that as well and you're enjoying today's video, definitely be sure to hit the thumbs up down below. And I would be so appreciative if you would please consider subscribing to the channel as well. I would love to have you stick around a while and become part of my YouTube family here.
rest of this area pretty much the same with the small faux topiaries inside the greenhouse and the usual books next to it. But instead of putting a photo frame here, I added some cement houses that were from Hobby Lobby's Christmas collection a few years ago. I always love looking for everyday pieces, even when I am browsing seasonal collections. <music> My top floating shelf gave me a little bit of grief this go around. At this point, I don't think it's a video of mine if I don't show you some arguably excruciating back and forth with some decorating. Since I moved the farmhouse scale over to the other side of the room, I had to think about how I wanted to replace the height that it brought, and it also took up quite a bit of space, so I had to play with that as well. And while I like the lemon arrangement that I ended up putting here from Michaels, who always seems to have great lemon themed items. I had trouble figuring out how to balance that height on the other side and make it work well. I always wonder if I should just edit a lot of that back and forth out, but I think that trial and error is part of the decorating process. Things don't always turn out just how I think they might in my head, and I don't want to create an illusion of instant perfection for you guys when I'm decorating. I just don't think that's a realistic or helpful depiction of what it is to decorate a home. <music> like a dream you and I are standing wild and free with petals so golden the sun's warm kiss a love so strong a bliss whispers of the breeze secrets unfold it's you that I need it's you that I
The bottom three shelves came together a little easier and I really like decorating them all together instead of one at a time so that I can make sure that all the different elements I'm using are balanced, especially when I am working with more than one color like I am here with blue and yellow.
Moving back to the opposite side of the room, I added this greenery plant from the Spring Studio McGee line at Target just to keep things simple. And then I put a wreath up here above my music book cabinet after Easter and I really liked it so I decided to keep it here for summer. And then I placed a front door wall art piece I got last year from Hobby Lobby underneath it. On top of the cabinet, I wanted to carry the look of my dining room centerpiece into the living room as well, and I placed the last of my decorative blue and white spheres in this basket from Hobby Lobby, as well as the last of my lemon filler. I bought a second set of lemon filler from Target this year because I knew I wasn't going to have enough for what I wanted, and of course, I think I might have to buy some more next year because once I have it, I certainly find enough uses for it. Next to the basket, I always place a couple of my cookbooks there. I just don't have a great place to display them in my kitchen where I know they won't get messy or damaged. And since this is the closest area to my kitchen, I like to place them here. Which, by the way, if you haven't tried the enchilada recipes from these Magnolia Table cookbooks, you definitely should. They are amazing. Here on the couch, I added my larger pillows with yellow striped covers from Amazon. And then and the blue pillows are ones that I've had for years from Home Goods. They are Ray Dunn. Sometimes I have them with the words out, sometimes I turn them around. And then the blue plaid blanket I also picked up from Home Goods, but this year, and it has quickly become my family's favorite blanket to use. So that is all for today's video. I love how it turned out. I think it looks so cute. All the blues and yellows with the lemons really brightens my mood, really makes me happy. So I am super excited with how it all turned out. I really hope you guys got lots of summer decorating inspiration. And if you did, or if you just enjoyed the video in general, definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up down below. It really does so much to help out my channel. And I would love it if you would consider subscribing as well. I would be so honored and blessed to have you guys stick around a while and join me here as part of my YouTube family. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye for now. Everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are here in the master bedroom getting ready to decorate for summer. I am so excited to get this bedroom summer decorate with me video to you. I'm keeping things pretty simple in here. Normally in the rest of my house I have blue and lemon decor but up here I'm gonna keep it pretty much neutral with a few pops of blue. I just want to keep like a really calm atmosphere in here since summertime is the time that the new baby is going to arrive and I know I'm going to really want this room to be calm and relaxing for both me, my husband, and the baby. I am so excited. We are going to get started here. I am just waiting for the sheets to finish drying in the dryer in the laundry and then we are going to get them back on to the bed. I love having fresh sheets on the bed after I decorate and then we are going to get straight into the decorating. I've already taken most of the spring stuff down so let's get started. While I am putting the sheets back on the bed, I want to welcome you to my channel if you're new and welcome you back if you're returning. My name is Amanda. I am a stay-at-home mom to three or soon to be three little boys. By the time you see this video, we should have a newborn baby boy at home with us. I love all things home decorating and homemaking and if you enjoyed that as well and are excited for some summer decorating inspiration, then be sure to hit the thumbs up down below and I would be so appreciative if you would consider subscribing to the channel as well if you haven't already. I would love to have you stick around around a while and become a part of my family and community here on YouTube.
I am not going to put a garland across the headboard this time. Usually I like to have that, but given that most of this summer I am going to have the baby with me and I do nurse in the bed even though, you know, the baby has his own bassinet that he sleeps in. Um, I just don't want to deal with any garland falling on my head or anything like that. So we're not going to put anything up there. We're just going to add some pops of blue with some pillows. While I'm keeping the same quilt on the bed that I've had on since spring, I am adding some new pillows. These are from the My Texas Home Collection from Walmart. I believe they come in about three different colors. I love this calming blue color. They are double-sided as well, so I think they're super versatile. I went with the more blue side. And then at the end of the bed, I just added a blanket that my parents passed down to me. It's got shells and other coastal elements on it, so it's a little literal for coastal style in that way but it's got a lot of sentimental value to me and the blue matches so well with the pillows here on my dresser I'm keeping it simple I'm taking this vintage vase that I picked up last year at a local shop and then I'm placing this white lilac arrangement from last year's Studio McGee Target line inside the vase I know it already comes in a vase but I didn't really like that color for up here and I think putting it into a bigger vase gives it a bit of new life and I really like the way it looks in there so I might have to do that more often really added anything to this door to our master bathroom before but I wanted a couple more pops of greenery and natural elements in our room and this seemed like a great place to do that I hung this basket from Michaels along with this draping eucalyptus bush from Hobby Lobby I eventually want to put I think a command hook there but for now I'm just using a standard wreath hanger I already had until I decide if I want to add something a little bit more permanent here I did want to add a little more blue here on my craft shelf, so I used this small vase I picked up from Michaels a few weeks ago and added in some jute spheres to give it a little bit of a coastal vibe. I am also trying really hard to use more books in my decorating, which is why I did add one to my craft shelves as well as here on my usual bookshelf. that is all for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I love how it all turned out. It really is so much more tranquil and less busy and it kind of has a coastal feel to it which I didn't necessarily intend but I don't mind at all. If you did enjoy it or if you just like decorating videos or you're excited for summer decorating definitely be sure to give this video a thumbs up and I would so appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to the channel. I would love to have you guys join my YouTube family here if you have not already. I am so looking forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Bye for now.
everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda. Today we are here in my entryway and we are getting ready to decorate it for summer. Now this is probably gonna be a little bit of a shorter video than a lot of my other decorate with me's because I do really wanna keep it very simple in here. When the baby comes, I know it's going to be crazy messy over here and I just want to keep it a little bit more clutter free. Originally, I was going to put a tiered tray in my entryway table or on my entryway table and I've decided I'm probably not going to do that just because I think it's going to be a little bit too cluttered for kind of my sanity I guess. So we are going to get started. I have already kind of done a lot of the cleaning so we are going to jump straight into the decorating. So I've kind of taken everything down already and this sign that says this is our happy place, I got it from Michael's in the spring. We're gonna keep that there, which is why I did not take it down. I think it's just a really nice everyday sign. So I'm gonna keep it there. I think it looks great there. Um, normally I have had a galvanized metal bucket with some greenery on the hooks and I am not going to do that this time because I am definitely going to need all five hooks once the baby gets here. I might put a wreath here on the end just to fill in until the baby arrives, but I need to rearrange all the hooks because we're going to be using all of them now. So I do apologize too if there is a lot of background noise. We are running our dishwasher. It's pretty quiet, so I don't know how much is going to come through on the video but just in case you do happen to hear anything that's what's going on we are um washing some dishes just because it got i made enchiladas last night and that always takes a lot of pots and pans for me so they're all getting washed i had extra dishes to do so we are going to get straight into it Here on this small table next to the bench, I added this larger faux plant from Hobby Lobby. I got it years ago along with some candlesticks. I then added my lantern that I've had here for quite a few seasons now back to the bottom of the table. And then I added a pillow I picked up years ago from the Target dollar spot as well. I think a pillow on the bench always makes it look a little more welcoming and homey. Now this is a very functional space for us, so of course I had to add back all the jackets jackets, hats, and an umbrella. We always have to be prepared for a little bit of rain here in the Pacific Northwest. And then we do have that basket that I use to put my son's schoolwork in when he brings it home. located the metal basket with eucalyptus branches here instead of the usual wreath. I like the switch up a little bit, but I'll probably start putting wreaths back in this spot once the new baby arrives and needs their hook by the bench for their jackets. I just feel like mini wreaths are a better fit for the amount of space I have going on here. As you can see, getting these branches to look like they weren't too big for this space took me quite a bit of time and I don't know if that's always going to work out with the branches I like to use with this basket.
of a tear tray, I did end up going with this Kirkland's Lantern, which is one of my favorite decor pieces I own, and then added a small daisy plant from Target inside. Now here I tried all sorts of different variations of decor, but I just wasn't satisfied with anything but this first option. I did add in some risers to make the wooden beads look like they filled out the colander a little bit more. Of course, I would be the one to try all these different ways of decorating just to go with my initial gut feeling. If I don't second guess myself at least once a video, it's definitely not a decorate with me video of mine. I definitely wanted this blue colander because it matches so perfectly with the color of the pillow in the baskets down below, but the rest of the items just didn't fit on the books without looking too crowded and it also looked too white, which is why I tried different colored books as well. Simplicity ended up being the name of the game for me and I think it's just going to be the best option this summer with all of the craziness a newborn baby brings. today's video. I am really pleased with how it turned out. It did come out simple. I feel like just enough, not too much of anything. So I'm very pleased with it. It does have a few pops of a lighter blue that I used in a lot of the rest of the living and dining area and kitchen, but that is okay. I'm still building up a lot of my blue stuff for summer so i do appreciate a not super cluttered or busy entryway and i know i'm going to appreciate that when like the baby car seat is out and my kids shoes are everywhere and i've got my diaper bag and my everything else that you know a baby needs i am very excited to be done that's the main room that I need to get done. I still haven't done the front porch. You will have already seen a video on the front porch. I'm gonna do an Americana front porch. I will do patriotic decor out there. You guys will have already seen this. I am filming this a little bit out of order because I am on maternity leave when you see this video right 
now. I don't know if the baby will have arrived yet, but if it has, you guys will already know about it because I will definitely post something to let you guys know about that. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, definitely be sure to give it a like down below. Let me know what you like best about the entryway. What was your favorite decor item? Do you think I went too simple, not simple enough? Let me know what you guys think. Should I add more blue in? All that kind of stuff. Let me know what you think down below in the comments, and I would so appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to the channel. It really does mean so much to me to have you guys stay a little bit and join me as part of my YouTube family here. I am so looking forward to seeing you guys in my next video, and I will see you then. Bye for now. Bye.